Washington and Dane County, a man arrested by the FBI for trying to buy a lethal dose of a radioactive substance in order to kill someone. We begin in the town of Madison where the FBI is still on the scene. They are searching the home of a former congressional candidate arrested today for allegedly attempting to buy that radioactive material to kill somebody. Tom Durian was the first reporter on site. He is live now with what we know about this case and the suspect, Tom. Hey, Carol and Steve, a convoy of law enforcement vehicles just left the scene within the last two minutes. A lot of people might recognize Jeremy Ryan for that run for the first congressional seat. Others, anybody who spent any time around the Capitol in 2011 during the Act 10 protest, they'll recognize him from his frequent sightings there. Jeremy Ryan ran as a Republican in the most recent congressional primary, but he has described himself as a progressive. Politically active for years, he's been described as a professional protester and political provocateur. And we all need to hold Scott Walker accountable for it. Running around the Capitol during Act 10 on a Segway, he was known to many as Segway Boy. This evening, FBI agents served a search warrant on his home, bringing in equipment for explosive detonations. I saw a couple guys with bulletproof vests, red FBI, uh, going up and down the streets. From Chopper 4 above, you can see the activity. Agents say he was arrested earlier today. Their statement said Ryan attempted to purchase a lethal dose of radioactive substance via the Internet to kill an unnamed individual. I'm sure it concerns you knowing that something like that could be going on a few hundred feet from your house. Yeah, that's very concerning. The idea of um, radioactive materials in the middle of a uh, community. Um, you know, we're two and a half miles away from uh, the state capitol. Very, very shocking for this neighborhood especially, and even Madison. Federal officials say the charge of attempted possession of radioactive material with intent to cause death carries a maximum term of life in prison. Wisconsin court records show Ryan has an extensive history of run-ins with the law. Many cases appear to be for disorderly conduct and resisting arrest around the time of Capitol protests. And police officers from the town of Madison still have the street blocked here more than five hours after FBI agents first started going through that home. The U.S. Attorney's Office here in Madison will be handling the case. Reporting live, Tom Dury in today's TMJ4. Shocking information, Tom. Thank you very much.